Hey players, welcome back to Ken's Gaming Tech Channel, your go-to channel for everything gaming and tech. Today, I've got some potentially controversial news for all the Ghost Recon fans out there. There's been a lot of buzz around the possibility that the next Ghost Recon game might be going full first person, ditching the third person perspective that the series has been known for. Now, this has sparked a lot of debate, and I'm here to break down what this could mean for the game and its community. Plus, I've got some recommendations for both first person and third person games you might enjoy if this news has you rethinking your tactical shooter preferences. So without further ado, let's shoot right into it. So what's all the fuss about? Ghost Recon has always been a series that blends tactical gameplay with a third person perspective, allowing players to fully immerse themselves in the environments while keeping that tactical overview of the battlefield. If the rumors are true, and the next game in the series is going full first person, this could be a major shift that fundamentally changes the way the game feels. Many fans love the third person perspective for the way it enhances the tactical gameplay. Being able to see your character, the cover system, and the broader environment adds to the immersion and strategic depth. The thought of losing that in favor of a first person perspective has left some players feeling disappointed and even worried that it could alienate the core fan base. Let's face it, shifting to a first person perspective might not sit well with everyone, for a series that's built its reputation on third person gameplay. This could be seen as a step backwards by many longtime fans. The fear is that it could turn Ghost Recon into just another first person shooter, losing the unique identity that it has set it apart from other tactical shooters. I've seen a lot of discussions online with some fans expressing that they might not play the game if it is only first person. The tactical gameplay in Ghost Recon heavily relies on situational awareness, and losing the third person view could make it feel like a completely different game. It is understandable that this news is being met with skepticism as players are concerned about losing its depth and strategy that the series is known for. One of the major reasons why fans are pushing back against the idea of Ghost Recon going fully first person is the sheer saturation of the FPS genre in recent years. Let's be real, first person shooters are everywhere, from the annual release of Call of Duty and Battlefield to the rise of competitive shooters like Valorant and Apex Legends, the market is overflowing with FPS games. While these games have had their fan bases and continue to dominate the charts, there's a growing sense of fatigue among gamers. Many players feel like the market is becoming too homogenized, with every other game offering similar first person experiences. This saturation has left a lot of gamers craving something different, something that stands out from the crowd. That's why third person games like The Division 2, Assassin's Creed, and even Ghost Recon itself have been such a breath of fresh air. They offer a different perspective, both literally and figuratively. For fans of Ghost Recon, the third person perspective isn't just a gameplay choice. It's a part of what makes the game unique, or the series unique rather. It allows for a more tactical, strategic approach that's different from the running gun style that dominates many first person shooters. By potentially abandoning that, Ubisoft risks alienating a portion of its fan base who are looking for something beyond a typical FPS formula. With so many FPS games on the market, the idea of losing a beloved third person tactical shooter like Ghost Recon is disappointing to many. The gaming community is clearly voicing that they want more diversity in their gaming experiences not just another first person shooter to add to the pile. This is why the possibility of Ghost Recon going full FPS is being met with such resistance. Fans don't want to see another one of their favorite series lose the identity that has set it apart for so long. Now if you are a diehard third person fan and just can't imagine playing a Ghost Recon game without that perspective, here are some third person games that might be more up your alley. The Division 2 from the same developers as Ghost Recon, The Division 2 offers a similar tactical experience with a strong emphasis on teamwork and strategy, all in a third person view. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain If you enjoy stealth and tactical gameplay, Metal Gear Solid 5 is a masterclass in both its open world environment and third person perspective, and offers plenty of room for strategic approaches. And lastly, Gears of War 5 is another excellent third person shooter with a strong tactical element its cover-based combat and strategic gameplay are perfect for fans of the Ghost Recon style. 
guys this list is old and new games so the list i'm gonna be giving you now is a mixture so if you like if you like want to play a third person game now then you could play a third person game now but i'm talking about beyond like what's next for third person and those games are tomb raider star wars outlaw and upcoming wolverine game which sound pretty amazing if you ask me but let's say you're open to first person shooters and you're looking for some great alternatives here are a few released and upcoming FPS games that might scratch the tactical itch if you end up being disappointed with Ghost Recon's new direction. Those games are Redfall, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, Payday 3, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and Robocop Rogue City. Whether or not Ghost Recon moves to a first person perspective is still up in the air, but it is clear that this potential shift has stirred up a lot of emotions in the community. As much as I understand the appeal of trying something new, I also see why many fans might be hesitant about this change. The good news is that there are plenty of great alternatives out there, whether you prefer first person or third person games. So what do you all think? Would you still play Ghost Recon if it were only first person? Or is that a deal breaker for you? Let me know in the comment section below and let's get a discussion going. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell for more updates on all things gaming as well as tech. Now players, I had a lot of people, last Ghost Re Recon video, I'm gonna leave a card up for it right now. Everyone was saying, nah, if it's an FPS, I'm gone. You never see me again. Ghost Recon, goodbye. But that's, so that's when I'm like, oh my God, like, let me make a video on this because you know what? A lot of people may want to hear this opinion and what would happen to the game and all the comments. So I appreciate all of you guys for commenting because it actually gave me a video idea and you know, I'm, I'm happy to do it. So even if you want me to do a video, let me know down below. But guys, I have a person right here that was a Ghost Recon fanatic, and he absolutely loved the franchise, and I'm, and he hates first-person games too. Like he plays Call of Duty, but he loves third-person games a lot more. Like he's been playing SOCOM, third-person games like that, and Mafia. So what do you think, sir? What do you want to see for the Ghost Recon franchise? Should it go to third-person or first-person? Listen, man, I'm disappointed. That's all I have to say. I'm disappointed. Please, you be soft. Get your shit together. I'm out. You heard it here first from the man himself. But guys, personally, I think that third person should stay in Ghost Recon. At least give players the choice to alternate between the two. Because of course, you know, I know beer. There are people out there who like first person and people out there who like third person. So why not make the fans happy? Both sides of it, you know, make it to where you could switch it between both. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this down below, of course. And players. I'll see you all in the Ghost Recon Zone. Peace out.